What if you could plan your next vacation in seconds without the stress? That's exactly what AI can do for you. And I'm going to show you how right now on this episode of AI for Everyone. Welcome to AI for Everyone. I'm Joel Kamm, and this is the show that makes artificial intelligence easy, useful, and fun. If you haven't already, please subscribe to this channel, give this video a like, and make sure to turn on notifications so you don't miss a thing. And if you want to explore more ways to make AI work for you, download my two free guides right now at aishow.io forward slash free. One of the most practical applications I've found for AI thus far is travel planning. In fact, it wasn't that long ago that Aaron and I were in Italy and we needed to be in Athens, Greece, eight days later to meet some friends for a cruise. But I didn't know where I wanted to go for that week in between. So I used AI to help me find a location in a country that I had not yet been to, ended up coming up with an absolute gem in North Macedonia, a place called Lake Ohrid. And we had an absolutely fabulous time. It wouldn't have happened without me using AI to find that location. So let's take a look at a few examples. Perhaps you want to take a trip, but you don't know where to start. And instead of spending hours searching, you can start with AI. Help me plan a five-day trip to Paris, France. I've never been before and want to make sure I hit the highlights. Merlin, which is the name I've given to my chat GPT, has gone ahead and given me some recommendations for a smart five-day Paris itinerary with must-see highlights and a little bit of breathing room so I don't feel too rushed. Realize that you can alter this to say, I'd like more downtime or I want to fit more sites in. Day one, check in and settle. How about an afternoon or evening walk on the Seine River? See Notre Dame Cathedral. Now it's being restored, of course. And pick a cozy bistro in the Latin Quarter. Day two, we're going to go see the icons. The Eiffel Tower, the Trocadero, the Arc de Triomphe, stroll the Champs-Élysées, and maybe a Seine River cruise in the evening. Day three is all about museums and culture. You can go to the Louvre, Musée d'Orsay, and in the evening, perhaps wander the Saint-Germain-des-Prés district. A little bit of my French from high school coming back to me right now. Day four will find us at Montmartre at the sacre Cour Basilica. Beautiful views from up top that hill. Perhaps the Musée de Rangerie and Centre Pompidou, that is the modern art section. Day five, it could be a day trip to Versailles Garden or Giverny, which is where Monet had his home and garden. Or we might want to go explore Le Marais District or some other regions of France. Now, this is just first pass at this. Realize I can go in here and I can ask ChatGPT to give me more specifics, to bring more ideas in, perhaps to take some things out. This is the first use case for it. Now let's try something that's practical if we know where we're going. I'm going on a week-long Alaskan cruise in June of 2026. What should I pack? Of course, one of the biggest concerns with travel is making sure that you have the right gear packed for your trip. I can't tell you how many times I've gone on a trip and thought, why didn't I pack long sleeves? Or, oh, I should have brought my swimsuit. So ChatGPT has worked very quickly to give us a no BS practical list of what to pack for a week-long Alaska cruise in June. It tells us what the weather is most likely to be like during that time of year. 50 to 60 degrees Fahrenheit are the highs. Nights and mornings can be chilly especially near glaciers. And now look how specific it's gotten here. It has given us two columns, must-haves and nice-to-have and optionals for clothing and layers, for footwear, for outer and rain gear, for accessories and gear, for other essentials, and nice extras. So it's shown us here what we're likely to be able to leave behind as well and provided an example bundle package for packing for seven days. Very specific. Now, ChatGPT has gone on to say, hey, if you want, I can make a custom packing list based on your specific cruise, based on the ports you're going to be going to, the excursions that you're going to sign on for, what kind of amenities are on the ship. In this case, we're going to leave it at this, and we're going to take a look at one more example. 
Since I'm currently in Colorado for a few days, I thought I would say, hey, let's plan a weekend getaway in Colorado with hiking and good food. Now, we've left this way open. I could be more specific. At the moment, I'm in Breckenridge, so I could have specified to Breckenridge and gotten precise local recommendations. But in this case, we're just asking for hiking and food in Colorado, and it's suggesting a few options to us. You might want to go to Boulder and enter into Rocky Mountain National Park. Here's what you can do on Friday evening. Here's some ideas for breakfast on Saturday, um, trails that you can hike on, and here's an itinerary for Sunday. Or perhaps you want option two, move more into the Rocky Mountains and go to Aspen and the Maroon Bells. The Maroon Bells are absolutely stunning, and I guarantee you've seen this picture before. Or perhaps you fly into Colorado Springs and you're right there at the base of Pikes Peak, which you can drive up or take their little rail that goes up to the top of the mountain. But here we go with options for three days for a nice weekend in Colorado. Again, we can dive deeper on any of these. We could say, I really like option three. Tell me more with the hiking and adventure angle and boom just like that chat gpt has given us some ideas we could stay at the base at the broadmoor or kinship landing depending upon the type of hotel experience we want and then here are ideas for arriving on friday adventuring all day on saturday specifically which hiking trails to take and then on sunday a half day hike and get ready to leave once again this is all very general, and what I like to do in my ChatGPT is build a project around an adventure that I'm going to take and then have multiple chats, perhaps one chat that is all about finding the right accommodations, another one that is finding activities, another chat within that project that is finding restaurants that I want to dine at. You get the general idea. The lowdown is this, you don't have to replace a travel agent. They can still be very helpful for personal contact, but this gives you a real good head start. In minutes, you've got an outline for your trip, and then you could refine it however you like. So what about you? Where would you like AI to plan a trip for you? And would you trust AI to plan your whole vacation or just use it for some ideas? I wonder, should I do an episode in the future where I actually book a trip with AI's help? Thanks for joining me today. If you enjoyed this, don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell, leave a review. If you're listening to the podcast on either Spotify or Apple Podcasts, I just want to remind you that there is a video version on YouTube and Rumble. You can find links to all of the locations that this show is syndicated at AIforEveryoneShow.com. I'll catch you on the next episode. Remember, AI is for everyone, including you. Beep boop.